Bonjour, hello. Today I'm going to answer a few questions about the buying process for an apartment in Paris. Uh, lots of different questions from various clients, previous clients, and I wanted to try and outline uh, the process a little bit to, to help perhaps if, you're, if you've got a project of your own to purchase in Paris. In my opinion, it's not exploring enough. Paris is an extremely small city. Uh, 18 kilometers wide, 9 kilometers high, it's really not very big. You can do that walking uh, after a good lunch, of course, uh, in an afternoon. Obviously prices are higher right in the center, so if you're looking for a bit more space, explore. Get out of the central neighborhoods, perhaps the 11th, the 10th, 15th on the left bank. Just go a little bit less central. Uh, and you may get a little bit more for your surface area, uh, a little bit more surface area for your budget, at the same time as being within walking distance to all the major sites. If you're even lucky, uh, you'll find a great new neighborhood which you never even knew existed. So explore. I think there are three real things which stick out for me. Number one is the amount of renovation that's done to an apartment before it's sell, uh, sold, which isn't very much to be honest. People don't have this concept of selling, uh, of renovating before they sell. So you'll often want to redo the bathroom, perhaps the kitchen and give the place a coat of paint. Number two is actually the difficulty in navigating the market. It's a very opaque market. Uh, there's no multiple listing service. Uh, so that means that the thousands of brokers that are in Paris, they are actually going to be listing in their own way uh, on different platforms. It's very hard to regroup the information. And the third, no overbidding. So this is a concept which is absolutely crazy uh, to a lot of buyers, uh, it's particularly in the States or in the UK. An asking price is an asking price inclusive of broker's fees. If a property is priced at 1 million euros, you can't go over it. Uh, so that's uh, a big difference there. Questioning it the whole time, what does the process look like and how long does it take? So we're going to assume that you've found an apartment, we've spent a few days, maybe a week together, we found that perfect place. We've negotiated it, we've got the offer accepted. What happens next? Next we're bringing the public notary, so it's a French official who will take care of the drawing up of the sale contracts, the equivalent of a lawyer. These sale contracts are split into two parts, and the first being the most important, which is called the reservation contract, or the promise de vente. Now, the promise de vente will generally take three to four weeks uh, for the notaries to pull up, draw together, getting the various bits of information from the building management company, the French uh, city hall, town hall, sorry, and that'll take them about three to four weeks to put together before you can sign in person or remotely. And then from there you have a 10 day reflection period, cooling off if you like, which I've never seen used yet, uh, fingers crossed. But that means uh, you can withdraw from the purchase at any point. At the end of those 10 days, you're liable for a 10% deposit on the value of the property. So we're gonna assume that you've got through that. Uh, what happens next? You have two to three months where the sale is registered and you have for getting your mortgage, uh, if you choose to take one, before you get the keys uh, and we celebrate together. So typically a three to five month process from finding the perfect place to getting the keys. Okay, let's talk numbers. So closing costs are typically seven to eight percent of the value of the property. This can vary because of the structure of the loan if you take one, but otherwise the main body is stamp duty, and registration fees. So that will be paid on your purchase, uh, seven to eight. Now running costs will typically be less than you expect if you're living, say, in New York. I have a client who's just bought an 800 square foot uh, property in the Marais. They are going to be paying, including um, management costs, uh, which is everything from cleaning the building, the concierge, the lift, if there is one, maintenance, uh, taking out the bins and the annual property tax, they will be paying about 3,000 euros on the property, maybe 3,500. I think uh, 800 square foot, 3,500 euros, and, and you're in a decent place. Mm. 
the sale price of an apartment is listed including the seller's brokerage fee. That will typically between, be between two and five percent and is negotiated between the seller and the broker. So the number you see is inclusive of sales brokerage fees. Now, if you're doing uh, it on your own, that is of course what you'll pay. Uh, and if you are using a search agent or an advisor, uh, someone who does both, you'll typically, they will typically charge two to 3% uh, on top of that for the uh, advisory work and search. I see the interest rates are extremely low. I'm not a French taxpayer. Can I get a mortgage? I'm going to preface this uh, by saying that I will, of course, put you in touch with the best professionals out there who can set you up and check your purchasing power uh, for a non-resident mortgage. Assuming that's all good, uh, the answer is yes. Uh, you'll be looking at around 1.2 to 1.8% rate over 15 to 20 years. It's a fixed rate, so obviously super interesting especially if you had a lump sum of cash, which perhaps you can use somewhere else, and uh, you will put down about 30% on the deposit. So the answer is yes, the rates are terrific, and often actually I get um, clients who are buying in cash who end up taking out a mortgage and using the money better elsewhere. Uh, the answer is yes, especially today we have great professionals, English speakers, who will send you mood boards, samples, you do a lot over FaceTime, really like being there, follow the process, regular reporting, so that when you've got that free time to come over to Paris to enjoy the apartment, that's what you do. You're there and all that remains to do is for you to go to the flea market and pick out a few design pieces. so important. Uh, there are loads of great professionals in Paris uh, and agents who will take you seriously. Uh, but of course language is a different subject. Uh, it's a huge investment, it's an important investment. And so we're not only talking about the literal translation of things, making sure that every thought, every point, every drop, drop away comment uh, is taken into account, but also the cultural understandings, the expectations, why are things happening this way, how is it like this, and understanding what your reference points are as well uh, when it comes to translating the whole process. So yes, it's absolutely doable, and it's funny that the key parts of my work is actually simply providing information in a clear, understandable manner so that people can make an informed decision on the purchase. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you're enjoying the tours, the Q&As. Uh, loads more to come there, so please little like, follow. There's more videos coming here and here. Enjoy.